Dentistry, it's always been a field that is classically recognized by the merge or the marriage in between science and art. But now I believe that it's science, art, and technology. Really has impacted and changed the whole industry. This is the best time to do what we do because we have all the tools to do it right. We have the ability to give a patient a prosthesis that looks tremendously natural. Now we have all the ability for us to actually have a patient reproduced in a computer and start treating and planning everything from that. My father would have loved to have that. Although technology has been really amazing and impressive, you will never be able to take away the artistic part of dentistry. Technology. Technology has been really amazing and impressive what's been done for dentistry in the last 10 years. And that translates into a fastest treatment, a better diagnosis, better execution. It really has impacted and changed the whole industry. Luis, he came actually for a consultation. And at that point, we told him his teeth were not restorable. His problem was he was wearing a partial denture that he was unhappy with. His jaws and the relationship of them was not convenient for his aesthetics or the function. So maintaining teeth was not an option because the teeth were not strategically positioned properly. And the partial that he had was actually uh, revealing those problems that he had. Louis' alternatives were extract the teeth, give him a denture that was removable or just give them the option of putting something fixed on those implants or teeth in a day. That was the option that he, he chose to go with. Cannot wait to see, come in. The process of, of an Olum 5 is a very revolutionary procedure that we can accomplish because on the same day basically that we take the teeth out, we could give the patient back a denture that is supported on those five implants. So we start collecting the information about the patient. We have an intraoral scanning. We have a combined CT scan. So it's a scan of the bones, a scan of the jaws, of the teeth. So we get all that information. We gather the information and we start modeling the patient in the computer. It's a virtual patient that we create. We plan where the implants are going to be. We um, already design where the teeth are going to go. And based on that, we establish where the proper foundation for the, each implant will be. Once we have all that, then we fabricate a guide. And with that guide, we are going to place the implants. The surgical guide is actually taking the position of the implants so that whenever we put the guide, those cylinders are going to guide the placement of the implant exactly in the position where we landed for. That precision is going to be the one that is going to save you time and the surgical time. And in return, it's going to save time to the patient because the surgery is going to be shorter, because the surgery is going to be less invasive, because it's going to have a better outcome for the actual prosthesis because the support is going to be better distributed. That is the key of a surgical guide. The next step is actually to provide the technician with the position of the implants, where the implants were placed. So for that we actually take an impression, a digital impression that it uses the technology of photogrammetry. And with that camera, we take an impression that usually would take us two hours to make. Now we just take the impression in 10 seconds. And that allows us to move forward and to provide a patient with a denture that is fabricated in-house in a very strong material within the first 24 hours of implant placement, which is amazing. The next step is actually to mill it, to bring it to reality, to extract it from the computer. That's where the magic happens. So this is a robotic process taking a, a disc of acrylic and it's going to start milling the teeth. Once it is completed, that's going to be a provisional. It's going to be the healing prosthesis. But the good and important thing of this prosthesis is that patients will be able to walk away with their teeth. Replace that, we can do that here because we have the technology. So that is unique. Looks very good. Thank you. Although technology has been really amazing and impressive. You will never be able to take away 
the artistic part of dentistry. Because we like to see a nice smile and that is a human perception, it's not a machine perception. That's why art has to be part of it. It's a beautiful fusion. A tooth, for example, does not have one single color. A tooth has multiple colors. There is many properties of actually on a tooth that, that will require different interpretations, not only the shape. The machine can actually give you a shape and that all together have to actually come out to be harmonious with the rest of the mouth. So that's one part of the tooth. But also, now we have the ability to replace gingival tissues. So in particular, in the case of Louis, because of the amount of bone loss that we have had, it was mandatory for us to replace with prosthesis the gingival that he had lost. We had to replicate the vessels, we had to replicate translucency of the tissues, the texture of the tissues, and layer by layer, tone by tone, color by color, gets the effects of mimicking the actual gums. So that it will blend with the mouth. So whenever a patient smiles, no one can tell them those are fake. That's an artistic approach. That can only be given by a human eye and a human hand. And that requires a specific training of a person using a material. And that will never be replaced by any machine. No, it does look very nice. Yeah, good. Gorgeous. <laughs> it looks good. This kind of therapy, like Louis's therapy, in which we replace all the teeth with five or six implants in a very short period of time, can actually be applied for patients who have had trauma, patients who are involved in two car accidents, that they miss, they're missing a lot of teeth and they miss a lot of bone structures. So the applications are amazing. The potential of using these prosthesis supported on implants delivered in one day is endless. You got teeth, man. That's great. When I get to restore him, when I give him what he's missing, yes, teeth, and, and he's got lip support, he feels confident to chew, he can actually talk better. At the beginning, he was like covering his mouth. And once I brought him back for the photograph, he was already like, no. yes, like <laughs> smiling. And people say often, like, I'm not afraid of smile anymore. They've become a different person. So this kind of therapy provides those things very fast, very quickly. And I love that. If I can create that effect on my patients every time, I'm doing my job. Thank you.